Good morning everyone and it is 9.03 a.m. I woke up at about I want to say 7.30 had my coffee changed and I'm ready to go to the gym um honestly do I feel like going to the, the gym today absolutely fucking not I haven't went in a week which is like kind of a lot because I was going like every day to every other day but I haven't went in a week and honestly my meds make me so freaking tired I'm like ugh. I don't even want to go but i need to and yesterday i i did burn a lot of calories i cleaned the entire house i don't know if you guys saw on my story but i did like tap to clean i did like a bunch of cleaning stuff oh my god i just my car was already started and i just shut it off trying to start it nice so yeah i'm going to the gym yeah. uh, i'm going to sushi today at 11 with my friend daniel it's his birthday so i'm taking him to all you can eat sushi yeah i'm excited for that so i'm not eating breakfast because at 11 30 i'm gonna go eat sushi um which i'm super excited about because i don't really eat all you can eat sushi that often and i don't really eat sushi often either it's more of like if i'm in the mood for sushi and usually once i have it like once i'm good for like honestly like months before i want it again i'm not one of those people that want sushi all the time but i'm excited today and i do i've actually found a new love for like shishami is that what it's called it's like the one with the raw salmon on it that's like cured properly so you can eat it raw i'm like obsessed with that i need to check the mail this girl's checking the mail too sorry for parking right in front of it oh i just parked in front of you sorry <laughs> no there's a bee in here no 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 go go that was terrifying Wait, we have two things. I ordered a bunch of stuff. Sometimes I forget what I ordered. <gasps> Look at guys, it's my phone case. So cute, it's a Louis Vuitton phone case. I'm gonna put that on today. What else is in here? I'm waiting for like a credit card in the mail because I'm incorporated now and you need to start building credit. So like when you have like a business, like a legal business, you have two separate credits. You have a personal credit and then you have your business credit card. And I don't have I need to start building like business credit. So I've been applying for credit cards. Not credit cards, one credit card. To start building credit, but they're not really giving it to me. Oh, guys, look. All of these lamp. Oh! Oh, oh my god! How many lanyards is this? Oh, oh my god! I'm gonna be selling some. Oh my god. Oh my god. So I noticed that one of my biggest problems is that I have such a big appetite in the morning. Like most people like can go without breakfast and just have a coffee. And I used to be able to do that. But like I have such a big appetite in the morning. Like every morning I'm so hungry. And also my favorite meal of the day is breakfast. Like I love breakfast foods. I love like hash browns, eggs, like cheesy, like savory things. Sausage, like those toast, like it's my favorite. Like eggs, I love eggs. My biggest problem is that I can never just like get breakfast and I never want to go to the gym because I'm so fucking hungry all the time. I could totally skip lunch, I feel like, or kind of just have like a small snack because I'm not like huge on lunch and dinner foods, but like breakfast foods are my weakness and I can't go without breakfast. I used to be able to go without breakfast, um, like in high school and stuff. I just love eggs and toast. Like I wake up and my body just craves eggs and toast, I feel like. I cannot wait for all you can eat sushi. Like I'm so excited. Yes. Okay guys, I went in the house, I showered, I changed. I plucked my eyebrows because that really needed to be done. And I can't wax because I have spray tan on and if I wax, I'm gonna rip off my spray tan around my eyebrows. So time to wax them, but I did pluck them. And I kind of just put my hair up. I didn't have time to put makeup on like I thought I was going to. Left the gym at around like 10, 20. And I thought that maybe by the time I got home, I'd have enough time to oh. learn about her. Well, also, no. Sorry, I was watching H3H3. H3. I thought I'd have enough time to put makeup on, but I do not have time to put makeup on. So I'm going to have to do that when I come home. When I come home, I have a live, and then I have a nail appointment. And then after my nail appointment, I have to do an Amazon favorite video for Patreon. And then um, hopefully put makeup on in between then. And then I have a podcast at 7. So my day is completely booked up. And yeah, but I'm so excited for this sushi. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Like, I could literally scream thinking about having sushi right now. I purposely didn't eat breakfast because I know I was going for all you can eat sushi. And I wanted to be starving. You know when you like know you're gonna have like thanksgiving dinner so you like 
don't eat breakfast you just wait for the th thanksgiving dinner that's kind of what's happening right now also thanksgiving in canada is in october and i'm thinking of having a friendsgiving but then i realized oh fuck i have zero friends i literally have caitlin Alyssa, and mason like that is it so i'm like fuck i don't know what to do now at this point. i'm so excited to eat oh i could cry I'll talk to you guys when I'm done sushi. I'm not going to vlog just because it's my friend and I don't know if he wants to be vlogged. So, yeah. Bye. Hey guys. Um, I'm on my way to get my nails done. But I have to go and get booster juice for Well, I don't have to. But I'm getting some for my nail girl and for myself. Her name is Ari. Um, she's great. Literally the best person in the city. Like, dead ass. By so, I'm getting us some booster juice. Because I know her appointments are long and she has people back to back all the time and she never has time to eat. So I'm like, and I want booster juice anyways. Because I know I'm hungry when I leave the appointments. I couldn't imagine her like not even having time to eat anything in between. Just only being able to eat like something super unhealthy or something super fast. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get booster juice and then get my nails done. And then I have to come back, do an Amazon video, a vlog channel video, edit and upload those both. And then, um... I have a podcast at seven and then after the podcast i'm done for the day and tomorrow is a super easy day all i have is a live because usually um, fridays is when i do the podcast but i don't have to do podcasts on friday because i'm doing it today because sick is going to be gone um tomorrow so for the podcast today we had to come up with a joke and write it down and then we're supposed to both try and tell a joke We're supposed to, sorry, construction workers. You know those TikToks where it's like, if you ever want to feel sexy, like walk into a gas station or like, or walk into incoming warning message. What am I even talking about right now? I'm going to get off because I'm just going to talk to you guys later because clearly I can't talk and drive right now. And yeah, it's becoming an issue. So I'll just talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, I think I can talk now. Anyways. I was saying that there was a TikTok that was like, oh, if you ever feel like you're not pretty, just walk past construction workers or going to a gas station. And I, it's so funny because that's literally where everyone, every single girl gets hit on at the gas station or if you're walking past construction workers. Why are construction workers like that? Like, and did you notice that I, I feel like construction workers are never actually working? They're just, I'm not saying all of them, but I'm saying when I've seen construction workers, they're all just standing there directing traffic and no one's actually doing anything or they're standing there drinking their coffee or they're standing there smoking a cigarette i mean obviously construction workers are doing stuff and they're very hard workers but just in i'm not saying all construction workers i don't want to be canceled for this or whatever just every single time i've seen construction workers that's what's happening i don't think i really love sushi that much like i had sushi and i'm starving again and I had sushi at like 12, it's only been two hours. Like why am I so fucking hungry right now? Sushi never makes my stomach feel good either, like ever. Already, f I was full from sushi and now I'm like hungry. I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to make dinner in between my podcast and now. Between my nails, uploading, and then, I don't know. I don't even think I'm gonna have time talk to you guys when I'm done getting my nails done. These are my nails before. Here is after. I just got like plain white nails with a um, little sparkle. I was going to get French tip, but one, she had back to back clients and I was like, I'm just going to keep it easier on her. So she has time in between and time to like eat and stuff. And then, um, I think I'm going to save my French tip for my birthday, even though I'm not doing anything on my birthday because I have surgery. Um, so I'm gonna get French tip the next time. So I just got white, plain, simple, you know, normal. Should've got pink like my shirt. Hi everyone. So a lot of people have been requesting that I show my fall decorations because in some of the vlogs you've seen them. And then on Patreon as well, people have seen a lot of the decorations. So I thought I would do a little video showing you guys the decorations I have. Um, here's an issue with me. I don't love spending money on materialistic things. I like spending money on like I guess a house is materialistic, but I like spending money on like house things and like, not house things, sorry. Actual like houses, I like to put my money in savings. I don't really buy a lot of things. Like I wear the same clothes over and over again. I get my clothes from Fashion Nova that are free. I don't really buy a lot of makeup anymore. All my money is on like house stuff, right? 
but decorations to me i just feel guilty buying so i don't have that many decorations right now but i did um i have a lot from the dollar store and then i bought like maybe a couple things from home sense so i'm going to show you the decorations that i have um and yeah let's get started okay so let's go over here this is actually a new thing that i got um i wanted to, something to fill in that space so i got this on sale it was originally 800 dollars, and i got it on sale for 200 because on the inside there's like a little crack but you can't even see it so um i still have to organize the inside of this and make it look pretty i know it looks crazy i've just been kind of shoving things in there i haven't got around to organizing that yet but over here i have this gather together sign which is from the dollar store and then also i have this little i don't know bouquet of dead flowers also from the dollar store then we go over here and these are from the dollar store these are from home sense and then those are from the dollar store so i just got like a bunch of stuff and literally put them in a vase that i already had and that's how i made that then over here i got this from home sense i think this was around 30 dollars and then this is from the dollar store they actually light up but i don't have uh, batteries in them right now um and i just kind of like intertwined it through there then over here is my blanket ladder i usually have like neutral color blankets on here i usually have like the that one and that one um and then I have like a black and a pink one, I think, but I switched out two of them for some fall colors. So I have one that's like yellow, one that's a red like that. Over here we have Kappa, bottom, I'm just kidding. Um, oh, this is turned the wrong way. So then over here, um, I just have my little corner. I need to wash the wall right there, I know, trust me. But I put this these little um, corner shelves up in this little corner, Kappa Dappa Dappa Dapp. Um, that pumpkin I got from HomeSense, and then that I just got from, I think, HomeSense as well. I usually have that in the summertime, though. It's just there to be there. Um, and then if you go over here, um, this plant is always there, but this I got from HomeSense. And I like this one because it's neutral colors. I think next year, I'm using a lot of the stuff I already had. I only bought a couple things. Um, but I think next year I'm going to do neutral color fall themed. I don't really love yellow and orange and red. It just, I don't like it in my house. So I think next year I'm going to do kind of like a this theme everywhere. And then on the couch, I just have these pillowcases that i got they're just um leaves which once again i don't really love them i think next year i'm gonna get neutral colored ones and then here i think all of this is from the dollar store actually this might be from home sense i think this is from home sense so this is from home sense which i like because it's neutral colors but these are from the dollar store so these are from the dollar store this is from the dollar store and look at dollarama and this is like heavy like it could be used as like a paperweight it's pretty heavy it's solid um and then this little tray is from the dollar store as well. But over here I have this, which is from, that's from HomeSense and that's from HomeSense and that's from the dollar store. I just put that right there. And then I usually have two lights right there, but I swapped them out for that. And I got those from HomeSense as well. So that's all I did in my bedroom. So as I'm editing this, I'm realizing that I now took down all my fall decorations, except the ones in my bedroom. For some reason, I literally just could not stand. It's, it's actually funny. I actually put up fall decorations and took them down before fall even started. <laughs> Love that. But um, yeah, I actually like, I couldn't stand the orange and the yellow and the red i don't know why i just like i cannot stand those colors like they drive me nuts so um the only thing i kept was the stuff in my room because they were pink and white so i took them down already i think i'm just gonna sell like all the fall decorations and like a bundle on like facebook marketplace for like 50 bucks and be like someone come take all these fall decorations because i really don't like them and i i've come to the conclusion that like i just can't do all like the thick like, that normal theme like they have to be neutral colored like they just drive me insane i don't know why but yeah i already took them down but i do have a podcast out on my main channel if you guys could go watch and support my podcast that would be great i do have surgery later on this week and my birthday is on september 25th i love you guys thank you so much for watching comment down below if you guys have decorated for fall and tweet me your fall decorations or send them to me on instagram because i want to see people's fall decorations and see if anyone has like neutral colors or maybe i just didn't decorate right share your spooky or fall decorations i would love to see them and i'll see you guys later this week love you guys bye